Hello, Battle Masters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the first episode of the Combat Maneuvers series. Uh, this one is going to go by pretty quick. All the videos are going to be pretty short. So, um, without further ado, vying for your attention today, we have the ultimate when it comes to controlling the turns and the battlefield. Today, we're going to be taking a Look at Commander's Strike. With that in mind, let's take a look at the description here. This is read straight out of the book and it reads as followed. When you take the attack action on your turn, you can forgo one of your attacks and use a bonus action to direct one of your companions to strike. When you do so, choose a friendly creature who can see or hear you and expend one superiority die. That creature can immediately use its reaction to make one weapon attack, adding the superiority die to the attack damage roll. Whew, wow. Um, pretty cool. A lot to unpack there though, so let's break it down a little bit further. Essentially, what this is getting at is after you attack, expend a, ser a superiority die and use a bonus action to give an ally an attack. Um, this, uh, so long as they can see or hear you, uh, they can use their reaction to make a weapons attack, adding the superiority die to their damage roll. Really cool. Technically speaking, this does sacrifice one of your attacks because you give it to them. Right? So you forgo one of your extra attacks or however you want to do it, uh, and then they get to use it. In terms of who benefits from this the most, I want to say the rogue in your party. Reason being is it has to be a weapon attack, so casters don't get any access to it, or any real benefit to it, rather. And rogues can use sneak attack. So if you're using the optional flanking rule, if you happen to be on the other side, and um, however, or if there's fairy fire, however you want to do it, um, this is definitely a great way to use it. Uh, outside of that, maybe a paladin with their smites, maybe, but if it's just the reaction they can use, I don't know if they can actually use smites. Uh, I don't think so. I, I'd leave it up to your DM to decide for sure, but to the best of my knowledge, they wouldn't be able to, because smites require bonus actions, right? So... Uh, it, it is interesting. I do like this one a lot, and I do see tons of use for it playstyle-wise. Um, that being said, if you're going to be using it, if you have any cool stories about it, any thoughts, comments, or questions, uh, please take it down in the comments section below. Um, this is a brand new series. I'm expecting a lot of involvement out of everyone, but... With that being said, thank you so much for tuning in today, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for the support as well. It has been unreal. We've hit over 500 subs, which I find to be absolutely amazing when I think about how long this channel's actually been active for. Um, I just want to say thank you. Have a great day, and as always, happy adventuring.